in nationals, but were overtaken when it got to the Worlds. 13th in the World Championships in Helsinki. Second a couple of weeks ago in the Finlandia Trophy. Nicole Della Monica, Matteo Garize. Side jump is a triple salco. <laughs> well, they stepped up in unison. <laughs> yes. Well, Had to be choreographed. That, that surely <laughs> deserves a plus three. <laughs> Touch the ice. Yeah, a little tight in the landing there. Nicole Della Monica and Matteo Gariza. And following uh, Sui and Han was always going to be a question of after the Lord Mayor show. I thought they did pretty well. I have to say, I didn't find the music particularly attractive. I thought Nicole they skated well to it, but it wouldn't have been my choice. I am entirely in agreement, and the judges aren't meant to cast their interpretation component score based on their liking of the music or not and I suppose to that extent did they interpret it well yes I suppose so but for me it was just a little bit too heavy for our short program particularly uh, it had a bit more of a free program type feel to the music um, they seem happy enough though I'm surprised I would have thought that they would be a little disappointed with the hand down and the throw and the step out of the sacos it was almost comical the way in which they Mirror image, the same mistake on the side-by-side -side triple styles. Now, he is built like a pair skater. He is built like, yes. <laughs> and he was a, a world roller skating champion in 2008. And I, I wonder whether or not his rationale behind changing to the ice was because he wants to be an Olympian. Obviously, as a roller skating world champion, you can't compete in, in the Olympic Games in that discipline. So I wonder if that's what brought him to the ice. And hopefully that's going to be another second Olympic experience for him next February. Here they are both stepping out and three turning. Yes, they were 16th in Sochi. But they would be very happy to 
just to get to Pyeongchang. And oddly, this team, the two Italian teams, Valentina and Andre and Nicole and Matteo, seem to cross paths repeatedly. We have six Grand Prix events, and yet these two find themselves, the two Italian teams find themselves at the same one yet again. They've already competed against each other at the Lombardia Trophy, the Challenger Series there, and it was actually Nicole and Matteo who came out on top at that event of the two Italians. So I wonder how the internal competition between the two Italian teams will fare at the Cup of China. And it wasn't bad at all, it's just that they had the problem of following yes. Sui and Han. Let's see where they're going to be placed. 60 points would take them into fourth place. 63 takes them into third. 